Hey everybody, it's a fine day here in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I hope everyone is well, as always. I hope you've been able to get out and enjoy this beautiful day the most high is giving us. Getting some fresh air, sunshine, and a little exercise, if possible. I do have a thought I want to share today from yesterday's thought, or should I say a prior recording, where I felt my I left it incomplete, but I'm going to read what I wrote this morning and help clarify my thoughts. As I tossed and turned this morning, I finally woke with a loud cry out of my room, Father, I need you, unknowingly at first that I was echoing the petition made during our corporate prayer call of Restoration Center Church last evening. In my Ruach, I felt as if I had an incomplete job that I needed to finish. I felt that I had given the thought that Abba Yah had given me to share the prior day taking care of our health, however, without giving the tools to do so. As I wiped my eyes and started letting my pleas be silenced by the quiet, common voice of my daddy, I remember the powerful prayers that went forth last evening and the faith that I have felt being planted into my Ruach. I then remembered the cries of Father we need you and instantly the faith emerged strong again from the depths of my Ruach as well as the answer I needed. But first, as I said before, please don't get a brother wrong. I can only speak on the subjects that I have been taught and know very well. I have struggled with my weight ever since a very traumatic injury on the job, which left me bedridden for months, which in turn caused my weight to rocket up from around 275 to an average of around 400 pounds. After the most high work with me and my doctor to get the weight off as I healed, I paid closer attention to my diet and exercise for a while. However, as the years floated by, so did my diet and my exercise plan. I now believe that it was the wrong foods that I was consuming, as well as continuing to smoke weed and drink hard liquor like it was water. However, right, right before I suffered a major stroke, I had really begun to change heading in the right direction. But I once again needed the most high super added to my limited power to bring lasting change. So needless to say that after the major stroke, brain surgery, open heart surgery, three operations on my leg to remove blood clots, and finally three toes amputated, I no longer ignored the truth concerning my physical health and the warning signs my body showed me. This is why I'm so adamant about the state of health in Israel and what needs to be done. I wanted to share two tools that I myself use that, that I hope will empower our efforts to get into better physical health. Research by scientists show that they have figured out just how much exercise is needed to offset a day of sitting and I'll put that link in the description. <clears throat> and I must say I don't always subscribe to every idea or study put out as the final authority on any subject. However, this idea makes perfect sense to me. It's right around my average time of exercising per week. I try to do at least six miles a day for five days a week by walking and riding my bike which on the average takes me an hour a day. I have also reincorporated the 100 squats a day back into my daily regimen so I can stay active throughout the day before and after my walk and ride. I will be the first to say that I am not always perfect in my efforts to exercise nor eat right, but I am consistently striving to meet my goals just as Paul said in Philippians 3 and 14, I press towards the mark prize for the high calling of Elohim and Mashiach Yahusha, 
the prize for meeting the mark or goal in this case is good health, which means we will, we will be around physically to do all that our calling demands of us. Then we can truly say that in Him we live and move and have our being, which is Acts 17 and 28. <clears throat> and like I said, to be transparent, I have had many struggles in my life, but I have learned from those lessons, especially from those struggles of um, mental health issues and physical health issues. Because it's the basis of my ministry. Because, like I said in the prior recording, it's all about our thoughts, period. And we have to empower ourselves by taking the Torah, the laws concerning our health, and apply it through what we speak. That's why we have to let the words of our mouth and the meditations of our heart be acceptable. Which, which means we have to study to show ourselves approved consistently. Just like I get out here every day to, to exercise and work on my diet, I also have to work on my spiritual diet and put in the right proper spiritual food for every obstacle that I face. And like I said, don't get me wrong, this has been a struggle that I personally have faced and am overcoming. So that's where my sharing comes from. And I also want to add, hope that these two power tools will help you as they are helping me in my efforts to become healthier. Okay, stay up and keep pushing forward in the right direction. Shalom.